This is Phone Arena, and today we're here at REM's Press event, and we're getting a first hand look at the latest device from REM, the Blackberry Torch the slider that we've been checking out and hearing about for quite some time. It's been touted as being a great device for REM, of course. And just from a quick look, uh, it's not that not that large or too bulky looking. Uh, it's I feel like it's made out of plastic a little bit, but has some chrome elements all around the handset. Uh, it's the uh, portrait slider form factor, so it reveals the usual keyboard pound on the device like the uh, BlackBerry Tour and even the Bluetooth 650. But as we're typing it out, we feel it to be a little bit more plasticky versus the one found in the most recent BlackBerry uh, BlackBerry Bold 9650 for Sprint and also Verizon. Uh, it's a touchscreen device. It has also OS 6, the latest version of the platform that rents been touted. Design, though, it's typical of any other slider. It has that typical BlackBerry look from afar. Particularly the back, it has it's a little bit more has this uh, soft touch coat feeling on it, so it makes it pretty good when holding the hand. Uh, sliding feels pretty solid. You open and close it, and uh, you have a reasonably sized screen. Uh, and we'll just talk about a little bit more about the uh, platform. So it's uh, a lot of gestures uh, implemented with this platform. At the bottom here, you have some of your quick apps. Uh, you can load up all the specific apps on the, on the device just by clicking. The, uh, the uh, app tray. Let's take a look at some of the features here, like messaging. Let's do text message. Compose one real quick to show you the video uh, Show you the on-screen keyboard. So it's a little bit tight from what you can tell here. When you slide it over, it will reveal the landscape slide, so it's pretty sizable. Uh, but still, it looks uh, rather, rather, or too, too, pretty much the same from what we see. On the top, you have just your usual silence button, your lock, unlock button on the top here. On the side, you have the uh, right convenience key and also looks like your volume rocker. You don't even have no meter headset jack. Nothing at the bottom. In the front, you have your usual usual set of touch sensitive buttons this time around. You have your send, menu, back, and end key. And you have the optical pad that's found on a lot of devices nowadays. And nothing on the left hand side. On the back, you just have the torch logo. And it looks like it has a camera with a flash. Uh, keyboard, as we said, similar, pretty good backlighting, but not really as great as the one found on the old 9650. This one feels a little bit more plasticky than anything else. Actually, it looks like the, uh, the buttons on the front are all hardware buttons, not touch sensitive ones. So, this is the platform. From the looks of it, it's, it's a big change for RIM, obviously, but when compared to the other platforms out there like Android, even the iPhone OS, and even Web OS, it looks like it's just catching up right now. Let's see if we can launch our website here. So, you have the, uh, our website loaded on. You can do probably a double tap to zoom in, which it does. Renders it pretty quick. Multi touch people, so you'll be able to pin it Scrolling. Scrolling is, uh, looks like it's pretty smooth. It's a little bit, yeah, it looks like it's taking a little bit of time, but it's quite tall compared to some of the other offerings out there, so the web experience should be good. It integrates a lot of new stuff, special social networking, it's all available through the, uh, on the device, it integrates that. From the top here, you can tell that there's uh, some notifications, and they slightly revamped it, so I'll show you all your text messages, your phone calls, even your social networking update feeds. So it looks pretty promising so far. Let's see what else we got here. And that's pretty much it. I'll show you some of the other features on the phone. Let's go take a look at the media. The music gallery looks pretty much the same like other other hands that we checked out. Nice, pretty good cover flow looking like the uh, interface. Tilted to landscape. Same thing, so that's pretty neat. Let's take a look at another one here. Let's take a look at the video. So videos look like they're playing pretty smoothly. Touch green feels pretty good. It has a slick feel to it. A little bit. It's quite glossy. As you can tell, this video is playing pretty smooth. No, no problems whatsoever with it. And we do also like the uh, track pad. The track pad looks like it's fairly responsive when you're moving about the, uh, the uh, device. Very responsive. 
But then again, you could always change the sensitivity in the office settings. Other than that, that's pretty much it. So you can check out our full hands-on preview of the Black Bear.